uh, <clears throat> uh, hold on we, we have Abbas Abbas tried to call us let us see what Abbas want to say Abbas is a price list unless he's driving now usually Abbas he drive when I talk or call him <clears throat> Hey Abbas, how are you, my friend? I'm very well. No, long time no here, man. I, mean, I, I really miss you. What do you want to say to us, Abbas? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, uh, thanks for unblocking me. <coughs> um, yeah, I, I, you were just chatting with the gentleman earlier, mm -hmm. and you raise an important point, and you normally use a lot um, about this breastfeeding thing. Mm -hmm. Can I say something about that? If sure, you sure, mind? sure. Did you practice breastfeeding yourself or you don't? Well, I'm not supposed to. Why, so not, why, why not supposed to? Why? Are you saying your prophet is not a being a, a good person? No, that's what I'm going to explain. Uh, your okay. understanding is uh, twisted, uh, I, right. I believe. And right. that's what I'm going to try, try to prove in short. Okay, part. go ahead. Uh, first, first of all, you know that, that particular hadith uh, about <laughs> Salim. <clears throat> this hadith... Um, has a counter hadith to that as well. All right. Uh, which is which is about Aisha explaining same thing to the wives of the Prophet. Mm. And you know what the wives said? Mm. What the wives wife said to Aisha, 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 you are wrong. Mm. It was only in the case of Salim and mm. nobody else. Okay, That's can you, uh, Abbas, can you stop please and tell me what the wife of the Prophet was practicing at that moment? Nobody practicing, practicing anything. Aisha was suggesting them to do that so, so Aisha, so Aisha she was not ordering she was not ordering anyone want to enter upon her to go to her sister and her nieces so he can see her right she did, did she do that's that that's says that okay so hadith, hadith says, says okay so the hadith Aisha was okay suggesting that. so the hadith says that Aisha she was ordering her nieces and her sisters to give their breast to a stranger in case he want to go and see Aisha do you agree that's right, I agree. Okay, and so why Aisha, she was, why Aisha she was doing that? You Muslim, you claim that the no, most... Okay, you, you're a prophet, he says, Take your religion from al Humaira. So you're a prophet now was wrong because he should not take it from Aisha, we should take it from the other wives. So look what you just did. You just admitted that you're a prophet. You're, you're a prophet, you're a prophet. prophet. Your prophet made a mistake, say it. Did your prophet make a mistake when he says, take your religion from Aisha? Uh, sorry, can you hear me? I hear you. Did your prophet? Okay, because I, I'm trying to mute the, did, the did, YouTube. Sorry, okay. I'm more, did your prophet? Did your prophet? Can you show me the hadith which says that about Omeira? Sure. They take we go. the religion from Aisha yeah. only and not from any other wives. All right, no problem. Let us see. Let me get you the hadith. Give me a second, okay. please. While you're looking for the hadith, can I make my point? No, no. Here we go. The hadith is in front of me. Mm -hmm. Let us see. <clears throat> Is that the Mota? It doesn't matter where it is. I mean, it's, it's going to make it a, a oh, different... No, 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 no. You, you know me. It matters to me where it comes from. So what, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What, 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 what does that mean? What does that mean? I am not going to justify a weak or, or non-authentic hadith. I'm not obliged to justify that. Okay, so what we would do I'm, now? I'm not, so, you know, so, so what we will do so with this what hadith? We gonna do, so what we will do with this hadith? Are we going to go through the source? Our yardstick is the Quran. Then come Mutawatir Hadith and Sunnah. Yeah, and then come the consensus of the Ummah. And then comes any other Hadith, which is if it backs the Sahih Hadith and the Quran. Okay. So, so you can't just Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So when you're a prophet, he says, okay, when you Muslims, I can show you tons of videos made by Muslims. They say the prophet, he married Aisha because Allah inspired him that she have a great memory and she can preserve what the prophet said. Do you agree with that or not? Uh, I will ask them that question. Where do you learn that from? Uh -huh. So that. now each time I say something to you, you say I'm going to go and ask. So why you are calling me? No, no. But what are you saying? You took, you're quoting some Muslim. Are we going to the sources, aren't we? Are we going to the Quran and say Hadith and Sunnah? Uh, uh, my, my, so you are telling okay, me my, my friend, watch some videos. Okay, let, let, that? let me let me ask you. Do you accept only Sahih Hadith? Um, I, I, um, Mutawatir, number one. No, 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 hold on. Mutawatir, Mutawatir, As an example, you Muslim, you say the Prophet said there's no difference between a black and white. Is that Sahih Hadith? No difference between black and white? Yeah. 
Oh, you mean the, the last khutbah of Muhammad? Yes, is that Sahih Hadith? I don't need a hadith to know that there's it no is not. No, you don't. Background. You need to know. So why you lie to us, Muslim? You say this hadith, this hadith, this hadith when it's not sahih. So why when it why it, why the why the one is not sahih suddenly is accepted just to fool people? And now I'm asking you, when Aisha when Aisha she order her sisters to do breastfeeding for adult for others. Why why Muhammad? He did not tell Aisha, don't do that. Can you show me where Muhammad said to Aisha, you are wrong? Why the wives of the Prophet, they waited until Aisha, she's practicing this with everybody. And then after Muhammad, he died, suddenly those women, they have mouth to open. And how Aisha is wrong, and is, is, is she going to go to hell for practicing that? I'm going to make uh, two points here. I hope you give me a chance to speak. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, so you are just telling me right now, mm. you know Aisha better <laughs> than the wives of the Prophet who was with Aisha at that time. Mm. And the, well, you know Muhammad Sallallahu teaching more than the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's the first one. Because they rejected Aisha. They say, Aisha, no. Mm. You are wrong. That was only for Salim and nobody else. That's okay. first, first point. Shall, shall we reject um, all the hadith from Aisha based on this? Because point, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shall we reject the hadith of Aisha? Shall we reject the hadith of Aisha? Hold on. Shall we reject any practice of Aisha? Yes or no? Well, if we find a valid reason, yes, of course we can. Okay, fine. Give, give me a valid reason. Why Muhammad, he gave the women only a permission? Where in the hadith it says this is only permission for you? Can you show me? No, no, that, that hadith, what I'm talking about, the wife said to Aisha. Okay. You want me to show the hadith? This is, I know the hadith, and I will show it to you on the screen. This is not a question. You know that. This is not a question. Let me ask you, did Allah send the verse in the Quran? A verse in the Quran for breastfeeding for adult? There is no verse in the Quran for breastfeeding the adult. But there's no verse, but did Allah send the verse? Nope, definitely not. What you're quoting is... Uh, um, you 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 quoting the the one the goat ate the Quran mm. Quran is that what you're talking about the goat ate the Quran is that what you're talking about doesn't matter the goat or not we can show you the hadith where no, it says that Allah Allah talking... Allah he sent here we go this is a hadith and this is a Sahih hadith it says that the Quran used to contain it was sent down in the Quran was sent down ten known suckling made marriage unlawful afterward. They were abrogated by five ones. So why are you online? Okay, sure. Can you put the hadith on? Here we go. I will put the I, I, I will send the hadith for you in the in the chat, and I will, I'm showing you the hadith in the screen, and I will show you more. This yeah. is just one. We will, we just started. Let us go to the second one. Hold on. 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 Yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. Mm -hmm. okay. It was revealed in the Quran. It was revealed in the Quran that ten clear suckling make marriage unlawful. Do you see it? And it was abrogated by five suckling. This is Sahih Muslim. Are you going to say this is Daif? Hadith number one no, four no. five two A. Let me read that. These can you put on the screen, please? It's in the screen. Oh, reported that it and I'm posting the link. You can open the, the link. Quran, mm. It had been revealed on the Holy Quran that the uh, mm. ten clear sucklings made the marriage unlawful. Mm. Then it was abrogated by five sucklings, and Allah Apostle Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, was disappeared somehow. Okay. okay. But, um, may I make my point here? Go my ahead. understanding of it. Go ahead. Is it is that is that Sahih or weak? It's a sahih hadith, and okay. I'm not rejecting it. Okay, but a second ago, a second ago, you said to me, there's no such a thing came as Quran as a breastfeed for adult. Apologize for speaking without knowledge, my friend. May, may I uh, reply? No problem, but I want you to apologize because you said to me, there's no such a thing was in the Quran, sent as Quran, 10 time breastfeeding for adult. You said that, everybody heard you. Apologize, please. No, I'm, I'm answering you now. I'm answering you. I'm no, 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 no. Uh, before you answer, before you answer, because you accuse me of lying, when you say there's no such a thing, it means either you telling the truth or I am telling the truth. So now, who is who was telling the truth? Is it Quran? Okay. Then breastfeeding or not? Say yes or no. When I say, no, 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 no,
No, when I said no, because you are implying that we're talking about adults, uh, the women going to give their breasts to adults. Well, this is for adult. Is this is for adult. This is for adult. No, this. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. I want you to show me. I want you to show me any verse saying that ten time breastfeeding it was not for adult. Do you have a proof? So you are not changing the topic. We're talking about the. We are not changing the topic. We are not. We are not changing. We are not changing the topic. We are not changing the topic. This is the same as Aisha, she said that 10 time breastfeeding eaten by the goat and it was for breastfeeding for adult. Does it say? We are right Did Aisha say? Did Aisha, she say? Did Aisha, she say? Okay, if there is any place in the Quran we can find that 10 time breastfeeding for adult was was for children, can you show me a verse? So you are saying which is authentic, Hadith or the Quran? Now you're changing. The I topic. am not. I am saying the Quran is a fraud and the, the Hadith is a fraud. This is not my topic, my friend. I I am here to prove that both no. both are fraud. This is not a question. You said this is about the children. Can you show me the ten time breastfeeding for uh, for for the children in the Quran? I I don't know what to say. You're not letting me speak, CP. This is the reason no, I. No. No, I'm not you speak. You I, but, you know, no, this speak. is the problem with you, Abbas. You call me always. You talk, you talk, you talk, you say nothing. You cannot do that with the Christian prince. Here we have to get the, the juice of that conversation, not only make a conversation. So you say that this is 10 time, not for adult. Can you show me a reference? Every time I speak, you just uh, talk over me. So no, no, I'm not talking about. Oh, I'm saying, can you show me a reference? Say yes and show me the reference. Okay. Okay. The reason when I said no 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 don't give me a reason say I have reference say I have reference and show it go ahead say I have reference first otherwise you are going to make otherwise you are going to make it no otherwise you have you are going to make a speech who are you to make a speech are you Muhammad himself are you prophet of Islam when you say something either you speak with knowledge or shut up so you say the 10 time breastfeeding is not for adult it's for children do you have a proof i never said the word children where did you get that from so it's for who then no i never use the word children why are you putting words so, in it's, so it's for who then i said that I said there is no verse in the Quran of ten suckling. Okay, I but said. no, That's but I showed you the hadith. I showed you the hadith. It's sahih that there is ten time breastfeeding in the Quran verse. You said this is not was not for adult. You are the one who said that. Hmm. So the point you are making it either hadith is right or either Quran is right. That's what. The no, point no, is. both are right. Both are right. The Quran. It, it wasn't the Quran. It wasn't the Quran. How we can say it's not right? So it was in the Quran, so and, your, the Quran. and your hadith confirmed that. And this is your prophet wife. If, if imagine, guys, why Aisha who live with Muhammad and Muslim, they take a lot of hadith from her. She is a very trustworthy person. She want to practice such a thing which is not lawful. That means she is a crazy woman. Do you dare to say Aisha she was a crazy woman? asking me yes or no I, i'm not allowed to speak no you see no it's not yes or no i want that reference you, right, you see abbas you you speak you talk too much i am not interested in your opinion my friend i talk too you, much no you're not letting me speak you are ashamed of your prophet this is the whole story do you have a do you have a proof against what i showed you either you say yes i have proof or you say i'm going to give you a speech so, which one you choose so i if you give me one minute to explain my position no problem don't, don't right, explain no i don't want your position i want a proof do you have a proof The proof that that ten times suckling it was not only for that woman, and it's not in the Quran. You are the one who said to me it's not in the Quran. Can you show me single reference saying that never was in the Quran such a thing? CP, your misunderstanding need to be clarified. You are very much misunderstood person, so I need to a mis a misunderstanding person. You just don't understand. Quran you are the one who called me. So you I are the one who called me, and from the beginning you said there is no such a thing in the Quran. Let us repeat it again. Was the ten times yes. suckling for adult? Was it in the Quran or not? Okay, there is no such thing in the Quran. That's why I'm still saying. No, no, no. There now, no now the there is no such a thing. So, was it in the? Was it before? Before the goat ate it? Was it there or not? 
Okay, that one is a uh, don't go to the good. It, uh, that's not even authentic hadith. So don't go into that. Why? Who, 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 sort of who said not authentic? Who said that? Who is that? Who is the liar who said it's not authentic? Um, even the even the scholars say that. It's where, where? No, here we go. It's in the front of you. The it's scholars not, they not, gave it a grade. Hold on. The scholar gave a grade. Hassan. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know what Hassan right. mean? What Hassan, Hassan mean? Uh, what Hassan, Hassan is lower than Sahih. Do you know that? Do you agree uh, that? But it's good. Hassan mean good, correct? Yeah, but not okay, so it's good. So why you are making it rotten? If the scholar they say, okay, Hassan mean it is approved, it passed. Not only it is good, it is higher than good. Hassan, there's nothing wrong with it. So your scholar they agree with it. So why you are saying why you are saying it's rejected hadith? Why you are lying? What is what is stopping it to be sahih? Uh, educate me on that, please. My friend, why is not sahih and Hassan? Why? Uh, my, uh, my friend, I'm sure in, uh, soon in, a few, in a few years from now, you all of you Muslims you will agree that this hadith is not sahih and not Hassan. It's garbage. We have to throw it away because Muslims through centuries they are trying to filter the garbage of Muhammad. Even your 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 Sira book says in the beginning, anything will not sound suitable for the Prophet. We to, we delete it. Imagine. They are saying that clearly. They did not. They were not honest. Anything. It's embarrassing for Muhammad. They throw it in the garbage. So this is after filtering, after filtering, after filtering all the filters. We got this, and soon actually, Erdogan he he asked for a conference just a few years ago, asking the Muslim around the world to dump all those hadith because they are embarrassing. They want to filter more. This is what you do. So now I'm asking you, do you why you call it Hassan? If it is rejected, is it rejected or Hassan? That means it's one level lower than Sahih. No so problem, guys. Read, one one level lower read, than. Look, hold on, hold on. Anyway, it is one level to, lower than not, Sahih. Not, not okay, but does it Hassan mean is accepted or not? <laughs> it, it if it goes with the Quran. And with the <laughs> hadith and sunnah, My friend, what do you mean goes with the Quran? Uh, uh, you see the stupidity. Yeah. So Aisha, she was saying this, and Aisha, she practiced this, but Muhammad never said this? Are you going to ask me yes or no? Come on. Uh, I'm not asking yes or no. Did Aisha, order, did, Aisha order, did Aisha order her family, females, to do breastfeeding for anyone want to enter upon her? Did she? And you said yes. yes Okay, so Aisha, when she did yes, that, why the Muslims? Okay, why the why the Muslims? Why the Muslims? Not the wife of Muhammad. Why the Muslim did not shout and say to her, "Shame on you"? Did the Umar al-Khattab say shame on you? Did Uthman say shame on you? Did Ali say shame on you? Okay, show me one of them. How she do such a stupid thing? She is because this is if if this is not uh, if this is haram. That means Aisha, she is really making something very bad. She is asking women to give their boobs to a strange man. And you Muslim witnessing that and you don't say to Aisha, shame on you. And the only one who said that is the wife. They said we will not do that because they have dignity. Aisha, she don't. This is the, this is the problem. CP, you have to let me speak. Otherwise, I'll, it's better I'll just listen to you as you're talking because you're not giving me a I'm, chance I'm, to I'm letting you speak if you have a proof or reference. Do you have any? You are not. I am just telling you, you have to understand Islam holistically. You can't just pick it. How holistically? Okay, holistically. hold on, hold on, hold on. When your prophet, he said to the women, give him your boobs, and she said he is adult. What your prophet was doing? May I? Go ahead. Am I allowed to speak? Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank mm. you. And the same prophet told Aisha radiallahu anha, mm. the, when she, there was a man in her room, and she said, he is my foster brother. And Prophet says, a uh, fostrage is only uh, from hunger, hmm. meaning only uh, if it's a baby, then he will, if he drank the milk of the same woman as you did as a baby, hmm. then he's your brother, meaning he's indicating that this breast, breast suckling cannot be possible if you are over the age of uh, as a as a child. Okay. When you are, you, okay. So when you drink milk as a so why uh, hunger and not so why he reason, ordered the adult woman? Why he ordered? Hold on. So why he ordered the adult woman to give her boobs to the adult man? Now that's right. That's that's a very good point. Now mm. now we come back to the point of Salim. Mm. Situation of Salim was unique. Mm. Why? Because this couple. They had him little as a child since he was a child. He, they adopted him mm. as a child. Mm. So he was there like son, mm. known, known to them, known to the house. Mm. So that situation, situation was unique. 
and that's exactly what the wives of the prophets was telling Aisha. His situation was unique. He was only for him. Okay, so I will yes, go with you. He was as a grown-up young man at that okay, time. Okay, I will go with you. The man, the man now. Hold on. Of, okay, uh, uh, Abbas. So now let us say you adopted a child in your house, and now he is growing in my age. I'm 18 years old, and now you order your wife to give me her boobs. What that would do? Why you say 18? It says a growing man. The hadith says no. It says a growing man. The hadith says he is a growing man. And in those days, growing man, man, the one who has puberty. Hold on. A man. No problem. A growing man is a growing man. Don't stop lying. It doesn't say the growing age. Man, yeah, right. It says a growing man. So he is a man. So now the question is, Grown. what that will do, the man now is a growing man. What that will do to the relationship between the, the wife of the man and that man who live in the house who is a stranger that he, is the, he is the child of the house he's like the adopted son doesn't matter so okay hold on first of all that, it's forbidden that, that. first of all it's forbidden to adopt children in islam secondly what have to do even if i adopt a son why my wife now the husband have a jealousy the man is already upset because there's a, a person you see this is a proof that lies muslim they say to us if this person consider as a son why the husband is jealous from him i see in his face karaha he is upset from seeing this man in the house so what the solution is give him your boobs okay now i'm asking you after the woman she gave the boobs of her boobs to this growing man what happened according to islam Okay, so uh, this husband was jealous. It was his prerogative. He, he was jealous. Not everybody would be jealous as well, but he was. Mm -hmm. So solution, solution for that mm -hmm. was since he was your child, mm -hmm. he think you like as a mother, but just feed him, uh, give him your breast. And, and I'm not saying he was 18. You saying he's 18? First, it's possible that he was 13 or 14, mm -hmm. and some beard came out of, or some hair of beard come out. Mm -hmm. So for his unique situation, it was given. So mm. that that was that was appropriate for that because that he was there like their child. Okay. It was not so that as that all, okay, okay like hold on, hold on, hold on. Go. He is already like their child. So what after she gave her her breast to the man, what happened exactly? Nothing happened. She's still a stranger. According to Islamic no. scholars, I can show you the reference. According to Islamic scholars, breast feeding for adult does not forbid the man from marrying the women. Yes or no? According to Islamic scholars, Sunni scholars, hold on. According to Islamic scholars, doing breastfeeding for adult will not forbid the man who you did the breastfeeding for him to marry the women who breastfeed from her. Because only in, in, a, in a young age, that will be forbidden for the man to marry this woman. But if he did do it later, that will not be considered forbidden. So what's the purpose of this? So according to you, what you say, Sunni scholars said, if any man do a breastfeeding to any stranger woman, they can still get married. That's what you're saying? They can They can still marry, yes. According to that Sunni scholar? Yes. Did that Sunni scholar was giving any references? Sure. About that? Okay. Uh, was, was he giving any reference that this is how it is, even if you breast suckle, you still can get married? Okay. What was the reference he was quoting? Okay, let us see. I would have asked him that question. And you see, I'm not only asking questions to non-Muslims. I even, when I go to Imam, I spoke to Imam, I really put them to the to the, to the task and I ask them questions. I don't just believe because somebody's saying that. I will really ask them the question where they're getting their authority from. And I know many Muslim scholars, uh, they make up things as well, or they can be wrong, they'll be sincere, but wrong. But we have to go back to the sources. All right, my friend, now, uh, Abbas, I, I, Abbas, I, I Abbas, 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 Abbas. Abbas, well, you're not me a let, let us not, let us not to waste time. Here we go. I will show the fatwa in the front of the screen. The fatwa is in Arabic, but I'm going to use Google Translation if you don't mind. And I can post the link. No, just tell me the reference. Tell me the reference he gave. Fatwa. Uh, no, no, I will show it on the screen. Backwards. I will show it on the screen. Backwards. Here we go. You can search it yourself. Fatwa number 391. Sorry, is, is 01. Rida'ul Kabir la yuharrim. The title is Adult Breastfeeding for Adult Will Not Make It Forbidden. Here we go. The question I'm going to translate here it says Indonesian I will choose English later give me a second all right and let me I can't see anything on screen 
well, the screen is shown okay. is shown for everybody. But let me change the translation. The title is okay, okay, okay. The title, the, the title is so clear. It says in Arabic that breastfeeding for adult will not make make that forbidden for the person. This is the title, and this is the fatwa number in front of you. And the question is, let me change to English first. Here, uh, change to English. Uh, choose another language. Uh, just show, just show me the sources you My friend, just wait. Have patient. Have patient. Have, have, have patient. Okay. Uh, uh, you see that translation of Google is stupid. It says big breastfeeding not, is not uh, forbidden. <laughs> it's adult breastfeeding will not forbid. Okay. Is an adult man? Yeah. Read carefully the question. Is an adult man forbidden if he breastfeed of a woman? Hmm. This is the question. The answer simple. No. No. And you can read all the answers with the reference. The answer no. So what is the purpose of Muhammad ordering the women to do breastfeeding for someone? He still he can have sex with her. Okay, I think you misunderstood me what I said. I, if I were in front of him, that man who said no, I would just ask him very kindly, Ya Sheikh, can you just tell me the reference you're quoting from? My friend, my, fr from my no friend, no my friend, my friend, the Quran, you are the one who gave me the answer. Aren't you the one who says to me, breastfeeding only forbidden for children? You, you are the one who gave reference. So what's wrong with you? So, Is it you okay, who said to me, you. Abbas, listen to me, I don't like children talking to me. Either you get, grow up and be mature. It is you who quote for me, saying that all the children best breastfeeding will make it forbidden. Did you say that to me or no? So you see, I just bust that shake. No, you busted yourself. You busted your prophet. You busted your prophet. So why your prophet ordered the women to give her boobs? If only breastfeeding for a child, hold on. If only breastfeeding for a child will make the child forbidden for the women from having sex with her. What is the purpose of ordering a growing man? And the woman, by the way, she's an old woman. She don't have milk. He was sucking in what? CP, with respect, you keep talking about growing man and you're not behaving like one. Please be, be, behave like one. You behave like That's one. You, I'm asking you. Don't ask the sheikh now. Ask yourself. You are the sheikh now. You are the, the only sheikh we have. When the sheikh, he said that, he is using the same reason you used. He agree with you, which means you should be smarter than this. Are you saying he's wrong now? He's agreeing with you that the only thing will forbid marriage if you arrested him for a child. So the question is, why your prophet then he ordered the women to give her boobs to a stranger? So that, that guy was the adopted child. So what? In Islam, there's no adoption. Situation. Still, he can marry her. Still, he can have sex with her. He, in Islam, this okay. is not allowed. Adoption is not considered as a child. There's a verse in the Quran about it. So what is the purpose of ordering a woman to give her a breast to a stranger if that will not stop him from having sex with her? You see, when the wives of um, uh, Aisha's, um, I mean, the wives of the Prophet, they challenged Aisha that there was a unique situation. That was my first point. And second point, back that first point. Your was, second point, my you friend. Your second point you is no point. Lot. I'm asking you, why? why? Don't go in circle. If this is a woman, she's still lawful for this child to have sex with her, for this man. Still, he can marry her. Still, he can sleep with her. So what the purpose of giving her boobs? This is the question. I'm going to answer all your questions, but you're not giving me a chance. Bro. No, you are not answering. You are going in circles since you call me. If he, if she I'm is, not. if she, okay. So let me, let me repeat the question for the last time, please. She is still lawful for him. You are the one who said to me, who said that? I showed you the fatwa. She is still lawful for him. He can marry her. He can have sex with her. He can sleep with her. It is lawful for him. So what was the purpose of him ordering the women, Muhammad, ordering the women to give her books? I'm listening. Go ahead. Not women, woman. One woman. One woman. Not women. Don't say women. It was just one woman. Oh. She's the one. Okay. That bad boy always hmm. think of her as a mother. She always think of his son. But it's the husband who has a little bit thing in him for his sake, not that they're going to get married. My for friend, his sake, this is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. If this is will not forbid the child from the, the man from being lawful for for this woman, what this will do for sake? What is that? Are we doing lab test? So now I ordered the women because to give her. No, no, hold on. Look what you did. So you are saying to me, Abbas, with my respect to your wife. If you have somebody in your house and he's a driver for you and he grew up since as, as a childhood and you are the one, your wife, she is the one who asked your prophet. She said to him, 
Okay, let him suckle your boobs. So now you, you, if you see that driver, taxi driver, who you adopt as a son, like you say, suckling your wife boobs with my respect to her, for you, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay for you. If that boy, if he was a young man, the like thirteen year old boy, and he was a child from the beginning, and if prophet orders that. <laughs> <laughs> take care, Abbas. Take care. It was nice talking to you. I really miss talking to you. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, boy. And you know, the funny Allah will send the verse in the Quran just for one woman. One woman. Only that woman. <laughs> All the verses by the Quran, by the way, it happened because it was an incident about one person said something. So if we go by your skill, that means everything Muhammad he said, it was only for one person. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we do here. And by the way, we might go live on air later today if I can. I'm really busy today, but I will try. We have another account. It's called the Quality of Life. If you like to join us, maybe the admin can post a link. Uh, there we speak about different topics. Have nothing to do with Islam. If you have a topic you like me to speak about, we will be happy to discuss it. As you see, we feel sorry for Muslims. They have no idea what they are talking about. They are just desperately trying to defend a religion which nobody can defend. Islam not only a fraud. Islam is a stupid religion, literally, made by a fool, for the fool. And if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? As simple as that. How a human being can be convinced that there's a God will make his penis endless? How a human being can believe that there's a God, he will give, he promised me women with big boobs? How a human being believe in all the stories of Muhammad? Shaitan will fart when you pray. Shaitan, he put his, 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 uh, his, his fingers and he go inside your, in your anus. Shaitan, he wrap himself around your penis. Shaitan, Shaitan, Shaitan will sleep in your ears. He will piss in your ears. He will sleep in your nose. When you do yani, Shaitan, he jump in your mouth. Who is going to believe in this garbage? If a fool like Muhammad was able to fool you, how fool are you? Wake up. Wake up. We are in the year 2020. How in the world someone can be followed like Muhammad? The women, she don't even have milk. Suckling what exactly? And how that will stop a man from being thinking about a woman? Since when, if a woman, she gave her breast to a stranger, that will make him behave? I want all Muslims to practice that. And Aisha, she practiced that. And none of the Muslims oppose her. Real Muslims, not the wife, the the Aisha, she is the most powerful wife of between between the wives. The rest are not just names. The one is in control. Her father is the caliphate. How come her father did not say to her, shame on you? You are ordering your nieces and your sisters to give their boobs to strangers. And I am Abu Bakr watching. This is what you are saying to me. Abu Bakr was watching his nieces, his, his daughters, the sisters of Aisha, giving their nipples to strange men. And he did not oppose it. This is what you are saying. Aisha in control. Aisha, she made a new Islam now, according to you. The answer is very simple. They are ashamed of the stupidity of their prophet. So they try to fabricate answers, and the answers always come shallow and silly and stupid. Thank you very much for watching and join us. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, and don't forget to download my videos. They are for free, and I don't keep them in my channel including Muslims, feel free to download them, including Abbas, and including the guy who is calling from India. Please download the video, put it in your channel, so we'll be proud about how you got me busted. This is a Christian Prince with you, and I pray to the Lord that the love of Christ will be shared with all Muslims. We love them, and we will never hate them. We are not against the Muslims. We are against cult, liars, fraud, who take advantage of people so they can fool them. And that is Muhammad. And whoever like Muhammad. Be aware of false teachers. Be aware of false teachers who come to you in the clothes of a sheep, but in fact they are wolves. That is the word of the Lord. 
and he loved the Muslims. He loved them. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. We love the Muslims. And we should always love them. No matter what we argue about, we are fighting about, there is no hate should be involved. Even if Muhammad taught them to hate us, we will not be the same as Muhammad. We will not fall in the trap of Muhammad. Thank you very much for being here. Subscribe, join us, tell your friends, and may the Lord bless you all. Happy Sunday, everybody. Take care.